welcome back to my channel so yeah after one after a year long this is the video where i'm not going to talk about that math and things that i've talked about but uh, i'm going to discuss like since this quarantine is like make made us stay home all the time so i'm going to discuss from my personal view the top 10 netflix shows which i personally experienced uh, i mean i enjoyed them literally so much so let's check them out so it's gonna so the top 10 is gonna be oh yeah there we go the yard it's it's a turkish show it's actually avlu yeah i think is it avlu yep it is oh yeah it's avlu so this thing from my personal experience actually i was i i checked out this show when i was like randomly sitting on my couch and like uh okay i was seeing it let's like it looks like i saw the trailer i didn't see anything interesting but like uh, at a i watched one episode and as i was watching i don't know something made me really interesting to continue this show which is like uh, how the how the main character the protagonist faces the incidents i'm um, like the of the crime you know of the st the story how she, how she how she going to face the problems so yeah i uh, yeah from my personal experience i think uh, if you like crime and thriller you should really check the show out. okay uh so yeah this, this is a turkish show i don't know anyone from this show but yeah but it looks like a uh, uh, suspenseful uh the the story is like uh she go the main actor uh the this guy right here she goes into jail for like uh uh for attempting a murder murder thing on her husband and uh, from there continues how sh how she's gonna face her problems in at the jail and how is she, is she gonna get out i'm not gonna tell that okay let's move on to number nine. Oh, lost in space okay lost in so this guy i'm amazed by this guy this oh i'm in literally love with this robot and this small guy they literally this guy literally showed like a he's like i thought he was like uh maybe what what do you think second grade yeah maybe a uh, fifth grade kid no he doesn't look like that so this guy literally he his performance really amazed me he's like a small kid and the things that he do in this show literally wondered me so much that you know is it how is it possible for a kid like this guy uh, with this kid he literally uh, i mean tr tries to study about aliens and he literally dares to go before a robot which he fears at first so this thing is basically the this family the robinson family they land on and they they so the spaceship collapses and they land on an anonymous planet from which uh, they start to fight for survival and meets meet some of their pals who who may who they're gonna get close together and face difficulties but my from my personal experience the most touching moment is is like during the last three episodes you literally gonna get emotionally connected with the last three episodes it's like literally so good yeah this robo it it, it literally amazed my performance i mean i was literally amazed by its performance it looks like kind of sad to me i mean uh, when uh, there was a way uh, i'm a, there was a moment when this guy leaves the robot and i literally felt like uh, oh my god, poor robo. Okay, stop spoiling. Okay, sorry. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not gonna do that. Okay, next one. This guy. Rising Dean. Okay, this is like two, yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, this was in... Uh, I, I saw this like one year ago, I think. Yeah, but I don't remember the story that much. So, this is one of the best things, again. It's based on kind of sci-fi and... Uh, as uh, some mystery thing so this pal right here this guy he has some special abilities you know he can make things fly uh, he didn't watch this so show okay so 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 the uh, his mom he tries to wor work on the mystery of how is 
how how is my child getting so much weird powers and uh, and as as you see the story there there's going to be a, i mean tragic twist literally going to believe me or not there's going to be a tragic twist so in my opinion this is the best show i mean and if you like are a fan of fantasy fantasy or something this is going to be good for you okay next one green nose academy oh i thought i should uh, i thought to give like in the top 5 for this one but i got some very good stuff from my experience in top 5 So Greenhouse Academy is about like a group of kids who uh, is about especially two sist two brother and sisters who join at a who join at this academy and uh, they try to reveal the mystery of their mom's death and believe it or not you're going to face many tragic twists in this show you please believe me especially in the third and fourth season you're going to literally start start liking the show so much But yeah, from 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 this tra- uh, viewing thing right here, you yeah, it doesn't seem interesting that much to me. But like as you view, there's like much, so much involved mystery in there. Did this one? This is not a Netflix original stuff, but I'm I'm still watching it. But like Breaking Bad. Okay, this guy, he's a high school uh, chemistry teacher. who is uh, uh, diagnosed with the terminal lung cancer uh oh oh, oh sorry <laughs> okay i got this on so this guy uh, i i feel like really weird when I, he's looked like a whole guy and i literally was scared at something some scenes where he starts to take drugs i was like how can I, is he crazy or what okay this guy he he's trying to provide money for his family before he passes out so that's what all the show about and uh, yeah it stopped with five seasons but i mean, i thought uh, it would uh, uh, give a green signal for the sixth season but no okay this, this is going to be like a uh this guy and his friend are the, like the hero and the villain thing so he's the um i mean okay hero or villain but his friend is the cop who searches for the drug guy but I, he doesn't know that he's the guy but this is literally very interesting brian cranston's and uh, aaron paul's action literally impressed me so much you're going to like it believe me or not and this one I I finished watching this uh yeah like an hour ago right yeah yeah an hour ago oh yeah really this uh, this is like uh this is like a different concept for 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 all so this group uh, this group they got onto a flight and they get hijacked by the a guy who uh, yeah this guy right here who says that uh, there's going to be a uh, tra- tragic event going to be happen during the sunrise and he says that people are going to die as the sunlight falls on them and so they plan on to go going to west and west around the globe so that they can stay in the night all the time and uh, st- and if they are a night so they can get down and take some fuel some food some stuff Wait, and they going huh why do they travel only in night what i told uh, cuz uh, yeah there's an even i mean This is a tragic event that's going to be happen. I don't know, maybe an apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah, literally you're going to like this show. Okay, this one many of them have uh, given a heads up for this thing. Yeah. This is the best thing. I mean, believe me, for people for kids like not only kids, everyone like this. I show. yeah, I mean, yeah, people kids like below 10 years they literally gonna like this show i mean it can it involves uh, people so much into it so, so that they they need so that they think that we need to binge watch this show especially the police guys literally the last season you're gonna get uh, so much involved with the characters that like as you see the characters and like the incidents that happened to them you're gonna you're gonna literally like uh, believe be, get emotionally connected with them and uh maybe cry i don't know 
Did you cry? Uh, no, he no, didn't say that much. Okay, another season. Okay, I'm interested for that. Next one, yeah, this one is my latest show. I, I mean, when I saw this thing at the first, I thought it was like, uh, uh, it was like some crime and uh, they're gonna have a regular life under FBI. But as the show passes on, literally the, the story gets a twist. I mean, the, the thing here, it's gonna change like to another separate story. It's gonna get so much in. You're gonna literally get so much involved with the characters, especially Marty Bird, who literally like uh, sacrifices his life for the. Yeah, you get those stuff, but I I skip that. Um, but literally, they these characters go, are gonna involve you so much in into themselves and show their how their world is gonna be with the FBI's, and how they're gonna escape their money from it. Literally, uh, this is the best show in the crime uh, crime uh, in the right. crime thriller. Crime thrillers. Yeah, this is a thriller. I uh, which I saw. And second of all, this is the Spanish uh, worldwide famous. At first, yeah, it was a failure, but in India? Yeah, India. Yeah. It was a big famous. So money is. So these uh, group this group of people they go they go into a money printing uh mint house. Huh? A mint house? A mint house, yeah. They try to get money from there and they're surrounded by cops and this mastermind who's called the professor. Let me show him. Where is he? No here. Yeah. Okay, the, spe the spectacles guy. The glasses guy. Yeah. They, he, he's the mastermind who... who he's the mastermind who ma who runs this, this group of guys and tells them what to do. And yeah, this guy right here. He literally tells... Uh, I mean, he literally makes them run and all the plans. But it really, the last see the last part, you're going to get the twist, the final. I mean, this is the most uh, amazing thrill I've ever I experienced, literally. I mean, that death of the characters, you know, they're going to make you so much connected with them. The best show, the best show, the best show from AMC. Actually, I'm I'm in I'm in tenth season right now. The Walking Dead. This is like a fight for survival during the zombie apocalypse. So this guy right here, Corporate Grimes, he first of all starts by himself, uh, where he f finds himself in a hospital, and as he finds out what is going to what is going on with the world, he finds that he's the only guy. Maybe he's the, he thinks that he's the only guy who survived, but as he goes on, he finds uh, survivors and and uh, starts uh, and starts being with them, and it continues for, uh, through some rivalry maybe with other group, other group of survivors, and that's how this show is gonna get involved with you. I mean, the since it is like nine seasons, I mean ten season. Uh, uh, I'll provide you a link for the tenth season in the description. So. This guy is gonna. This guy's performance is gonna amaze you so much. I promise, it's gonna be amazing. Even though uh, just think of think it of a zombie show or something, it's gonna be amazing so much. Yeah, that's it. So these are my top ten uh, 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 Netflix series series that are available in Netflix, guys. So please do try and watch them. I tell you, they're gonna make you involved with them so much. It's gonna be. Uh, so good okay guys thank you for watching like Please do. share and subscribe yeah yeah let me tell that like share and subscribe for more kind of videos like this okay maybe not like this for different kinds okay and also stay home and stay safe stay safe guys we can get this together